Hi, and welcome to our Zeocro plate demonstration. Here we see everything is set up and ready for printing. I am misting both sides of the paper in the beginning and stacking it up, and then, which after I am going to put the paper in a plastic bag just to keep it slightly moist during printing. Misting the paper is not necessary. Most lithography prints are printed on dry paper, but since I'm mostly used to doing etchings, that's, I just like to have it a little bit wet. Um, we are using oil-based inks, etching inks, just straight out of the can with no modifiers. Here I am mixing two different kinds of, or two different colors of ink that are going to be rolled out and printed onto the plate. Um, also, when you start rolling up the plate, make sure that your brayer is, does not have too much ink on it. The plate has two different sides. One side is rough and one side is smooth to the touch. I have drawn the image to be printed on the rough side and the registration is on the back. The plate is a little bit translucent so the lines will show through the paper. The green bottle has plain water in it um, and I am just spraying it on the table to keep the plate from slipping around while pr printing and the white bottle has a mixture of about one part gum arabic and five parts water. Um, the gum arabic mixture just keeps the water keeps the plate wet better um, but you can also just use water if you don't have any gum arabic. Um, I'm just using a sponge from my kitchen. Um, a better option would be a nice thick one, but for the time being, this one worked just fine. Um, the sponge is just used to clean up the extra water off the plate and spread it evenly on there. For the small image, I am rolling back and forth fairly fast. Um, the most important part when you start rolling the the plate up is to make sure to keep the plate wet at all times. Um, you can see as I'm going that the plate is, the brayer is going to be charged several times on the ink slab and then rolled over the image several different times. Um, and I'm going fairly fast. So if the image was a lot larger, I might only do one or two passes with the brayer over the image before re-rolling it up on the ink slab. Um, as your image is rolled up, um, just make sure that the circumference around your brayer is longer than the width of your image. If the brayer is too small for your image, um, then there's going to be areas easily that are going to be under inked. Uh, my plate normally is pretty wet, so after I've rolled the image up, you can see um, I roll the extra water off on a piece of newsprint that's just on the bottom right outside of the screen. Um, to print the image we are using an etching press um, just because it's the only press that we have available in our studio. Um, we found that printing with a mat instead of felts worked better for these kinds of lithography plates. Um, for those of you who are do-it-yourselfers we are just using a cutting mat um, over here um, underneath the rollers. Um, the first image that you normally pull off your plate is a little bit lighter, but then if the successive images are still light after you've rolled it up with ink, um, you should check the pressure on the press and make sure that it's tight enough. Um, also, the plate that the ink is rolled on is larger than the paper that I'm printing on, um, so the registration marks are already on the plate, so I know how to place it. So here you can see the first image that has been pulled off from the plate. So the second plate is printed in the same way. After the initial ink up, you should need less passes for uh, printing. Um, you shouldn't need to go back and forth um, so many times. Um, a lot of times, if you kind of you should get into a groove um, so that every time when you ink up the plate you're using about the same amount of ink so you go um, between the ink slab and your plate maybe two or three times um, and using the same amount of ink um, and then that way you can ensure that all your plates are or all your prints are going to have the same um, darkness to them or lightness to them. And 
as I'm talking over here um, and doing my demonstration, I'm kind of getting a little bit distracted. So you'll see here in a minute, um, the plate has time to dry in between going back and forth, and you'll, you'll see a big extra uh, blob of ink that gets rolled onto the plate here in a minute. Rolling it up on the newsprint. So now you can see that there's extra ink. To remove that extra ink, um, you can spray it with some more water or squeeze some water from your sponge on it and that way um, uh, most of it will uh, most likely come off. Um, if it doesn't come off and a little bit remains, also passing with a dry roller um, and just rolling over it really, really fast will remove um, any of that extra little bit of ink that you still might have left over there. Second plate is or second print is ready to be printed. Different materials that can be used on the Zeacro plates, um, they are really, really nice and versatile as far as media goes. Um, you can use your traditional lithography um, inks and, or um, touche and crayons, and you can also use ballpoint pens, you can use Sharpie markers, or print them through a, pr a, print a digital image through a laser printer onto them. Uh, more information on how I did the registration and how I um, drew the image on there can be found on my blog uh, blog address um, at the end of the video over here. And this is just the third image um, showing really really fast just how that's printed but basically it's just the same old same old. Thanks for listening.